love craft projects that take absolutely no artistic ability and when you're done you look like a fabulous artist. If you can cut out a shape with scissors, Kari Ann Wood from the popular Thistlewood Farms blog says you can make this beautiful paper feather wreath. It's so easy, right? Exactly. And it's so much fun. You can do it literally watching a really good Hallmark movie. Yeah, which you love to do. Exactly. Yeah. And this is something the kids could help with as well if they if they can cut safely with scissors. Yes, yes. And really it, it takes only a few minutes. Minutes. You want to start with a simple grapevine wreath, and you can find these at any craft store. They come in a variety of sizes, so depending on what size of wreath that you want, you know, just purchase the grapevine wreath that you want to start to okay. use as your base. And we're starting with scrapbook papers, and you like the kind that have words on them usually. I, I think it for adds this. just a little bit of something. I think another fun idea might be to take your old Christmas cards and recycle them. You could oh, yeah. use that for this project. Mm -hmm. You could also use sheet music. Um, or oh, even be nice. book, old vintage book pages. All right, so what we're going to do is make feather shapes. That is correct. So we start by flipping our paper over, just like we've done here. And we start by just tracing just simple feather shapes. Don't overthink it because we're going to cut these out and kind of twist them a little bit anyway. Okay. I, I figured per page I got about 20. So okay. you want to start by tracing them, kind of trace them all the direct, same direction so they fit. Okay. And then you want to start just by cutting cutting them out. You could also layer a couple of sheets of paper if you want to make the craft go even faster. That's a good idea because this is going to take quite a few exactly. to go around the wreath. Now if the movie's really good and you want to go slow, feel free to cut <laughs> okay. one at a time. Okay, good. And after you finish cutting out all the shapes, the next thing is I kind of layered them just like you're doing here. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to add kind of the fringe, the edges to create the feather effect. Okay. All right, so we want to go toward the point, right? That is correct. All so right. you just clip away and probably on each side you're going to add about, oh, I don't know, 10 to 12 clips. Okay, and then but no rules, right? No, no rules. See, that's what I love no about this. seriousness. Yeah. And then when you're finished with that, you take the other side and you just clip away. And you try not to clip pieces out of your feathers. <laughs> yeah, maybe I need a few rules, right? <laughs> okay, so that is a feather that's not very cute, so we're going to use these. We'll take only cute feathers on yes. the street. Yes, okay. And so. after we finish cutting out, kind of fringing the edges, what we do is we kind of ruffle them to create the illusion of feathers. And this is why the words are so fun, because you can kind of see the Merry Christmas yeah. on the feathers. Okay. A really cool. good tip for fringing the feathers is if you want to take just a pencil and kind of wrap the edges, it just oh. goes a little bit faster. Okay. Cool. All right, so let's say we've done 40 or so of these. Exactly. It's time to start gluing, right? Mm -hmm. We start, it's really, there's not a lot of rhyme or reason. I always say go with the rule of threes. So what we're going to do is we take just the tiniest bit of hot glue. You don't want to like really use a lot for this project. Kind of pull your string away. See how we already have three here? We come back and we layer the next one right on top. Okay. And then we add the next one. So you're just overlapping and filling in, exactly. kind of covering up the spaces. And you just kind of, you know, you're just going to kind of make it up as you go. If you see a space that you think maybe needs two or three wreaths, I mean, excuse me, two or three feathers, you just go ahead and add them in. Okay. It's kind of like when I was curling my hair this morning and I was like, one more curl right in the front. So. <laughs> yeah. Just overdue, why not, right? So there you go, and you just continue this. Now one quick tip is, as you're doing this, you want to keep all the feathers going in the same direction. Okay. Don't so go just, crazy and start, yeah, you know. Yeah, just kind of go all the way around. Feathers wild. Now is it okay if some of the grapevine wreath shows? Oh, I love that. I yeah. actually love that. For a little bit of rustic okay. Christmas, I think the grapevine wreath kind of peeping through the feathers is fun. We're looking at the finished one over there. I think that looks terrific. What an easy project to do, and, and it's just fun. It is, and it only takes literally a Hallmark movie. Okay, <laughs> that's great. So we'll just watch some fun holiday movie, make our own wreath, and we'll be good to go. Kari Ann, such great ideas. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. It was really fun. Merry Christmas to you. Merry Appreciate Christmas. it. All right, for complete directions for this project and so many other great ideas, we're going to link you to Kari Ann's blog. It's called thistlewoodfarms.com.